you're doing good welcome to my steve ai animation tutorial in it i will be showing you how to use steve ai and give you a full walkthrough of the steve ai platform to get started it's completely free all you'll need to do is go on to steve.ai once you are there you'll be able to sign up using your email address after you're signed up you'll be redirected to a dashboard just like this and if you want to use it to create animation, you can tap on animation right there and you can see the different animation options. So you have text to animation, talking head video, blog to animation and page URL to animation. If we were to tap on all, these are all of the features at the moment that Steve AI produces. So we are going to tap on animation and the first option we are going to be looking at is text to animation. So we are going to tap on start. After you have tapped on start, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you can quickly type in a prompt and you can use the Steve AI to generate content for you. So for example, let's say I were to select kids story. From here, you can describe what type of story you would like to create. So for example, let's say I would like to create a story about the forest. So I'll say create a story about the forest. Then you will tap on generate script. After you have tapped on generate script, you're just going to give it a few seconds while the AI generates a script for you. You can see the script right there. Once you're finished, you will go to the bottom left hand corner. And from here, you're going to enter your topic. So let's say, for example, my topic for the video is forest. After you have done that, you can select the type of video. We want to create an animation video. You can also select the source. We are going to tap on all. Would you like it to be auto highlighted? So this is when they highlight the text. You can also add a voiceover if you want by tapping on add voiceover. From here, you will see the different options that you have access to. So you can tap on all voices and from there you could select all voices or you could select premium voices if you want to go onto their paid plan. You can also choose the gender whether male or female. I'm going to be leaving it at female. Then you can choose the language. So you have numerous accents or languages that you can choose from. I'll leave it as English, Canadian, better yet. Then you're going to tap on Generate Voice. After you have tapped on Generate Voice, you're going to tap on Next in the bottom right hand corner. After tapping on Next, from here you can choose your template style. So you can either select this template style, this one, you have numerous options you can choose from. Let's say I were to select this one. Then once you have done that, you're going to give it a few seconds while the scene is being created. Once it is up and running, I'll be showing you how to edit it further. So you can see right here, it is currently loading up and that is it right there. Now, if you would like to edit it further, let's say for example, you would like to change the text, you can tap on the text section, then go over to the left hand menu option and tap on edit text. From here, you could edit the text so you can type in or you can remove any section you want. You can also, if you would like to, for example, change the character, you can do that. I could tap on the current character, then tap on change character from the left hand menu option. And from here, you could choose the character that you want. So for example, I could type in woman and you could search for woman or you could search for girl or so on and you can find a different character. As you can see right here, you could select any one of these characters. Another thing that you can do if you like to change the character action, you could select the character once more, then tap on change action and you could change our action right there or you can change expression as you can see right there. Another thing, so you can change the character action. You can also choose to change the color if you want. And when it comes onto the background, if you want to change the background, you can do that by simply selecting the entire slide. After you have done that, you could tap on change background from the left hand menu option. 
and you can see the different backgrounds that you can choose from. Let's say for example, I wanted to use this one. I could tap on select and you can see that the background has now changed. Also, if you would like to increase or decrease the screen time or scene time, you can do that right there. Once everything is to your liking, you could add a voiceover if you want by tapping on voiceover. And from here, you could select record your voice. But to do that, you'll need to go onto their paid plan. If it is a case that you would like to change the current voice, you could tap on the person's voice right there and you could select a different voice if you want. You can also choose to add music by tapping on music. You could change the current music and select any type of music you want. And by the way, the music is copyright free, so that means that it can be used and uploaded onto any platform without worrying about a copyright strike. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on publish in the bottom right hand corner. After you have tapped on publish, from here you can enter in your video title. You can also choose the size. And as you can see, you'll be provided with more options once you go onto their paid plan. All you'll need to do now to download it, you'll tap on upgrade and download. So this is one of the pullbacks when it comes onto Steve AI. To download a video, you'll need to go onto their paid plan, although it is quite affordable. So you can see that their paid plan starts off at $15 per month and goes up to $60 per month for even more features. So I would recommend that you go onto their paid plan. And if we were to go back to their main dashboard, you can see that it can also be used to create a talking head video. If we were to select talking head video, we'll be redirected to a new page. And again, you can write in your own script or you can use it to create generate a script for you. So you can choose the category and then from there you can use it to generate a script for you. And the steps are basically the same just like what I showed you earlier. You can also use their blog to animation or page URL to animation. And if we were to tap on all, you can see the different features. You can use text the video, voice the video if you're on their paid plan, or you can use blog to video or blog to animation. And that's it. You can also see that they are coming out with a new feature which will allow you to convert a tweet to a video or PowerPoint to a video. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.